heat treat process um, really adds a couple different um, benefits. One, um, obviously the strength of the casting and then uh, machining, ease of machining, it really helps. And also heat treating different products that have had semi-permanent mold sand cores. It, it bakes out the sand cores, it, it makes them easier to remove. Uh, with our heat treater, we built fixtures where you heat, you put the part in, um, you can straighten it throughout the heat treating process so it doesn't warp. Um, some parts will automatically not be the best for heat treat depending upon um, how thin they are and flat. Um, the thinner and flatter they are, the more likely they are to twerk in the heat treating process, but there are fixtures you can use to help keep the part flattened through the process. Yeah, and most of the time ours are oriented in, you know, heat treat basket, um, you know, they have they kind of know how they would need to put those in there so you reduce that um, but but yeah there would be some in certain instances where it would warp if it's not put in there correctly or or fixtured like you mentioned and then from the impregnation standpoint um, you know, there's even though the porosity in permanent mold is lower there's certain pressure tolerancing that sometimes we need to hit that might need to be you know add in impregnation to to hit those numbers for psi and stuff like that yeah because no matter what casting process you use, you're always going to have outgassing. So that's why impregnation is another great opportunity to use in um, casting to make it even more pressure tight if you need it. 